Hello and welcome to Synapse Pipeline CI/CD tutorial on selected deployments. Our Synapse environments consist of dev, test, and prod. The dev workspace is the only workspace with Git enabled. In the browser, we have replicated three developers working on their respective feature branches, 004, 005, and 006. We also have the live mode for each of our environments, as well as the Azure DevOps project, where we will be managing the DevOps workflow. Feature branches 4 and 5 have already been created. For this demo, all changes will be made within the folder called Features. We need to create Feature Branch 6. To do this, we will create a new branch based on the Prod Release branch. Before we make any changes, let's get an idea as to what is already deployed to Test and Prod. As we can see, Test and Prod only contain features 1 and 3 already, along with their respective triggers. Navigating to Azure DevOps. We have created release pipelines per release branch. Let's edit the dev release and see how it is configured. Using a continuous deployment trigger filtering on the dev branch. Next, the dev stage is triggered after the release trigger, with the artifact filter in place to include only the dev release branch. Let's drill down into the stage tasks. For dev, the only task we are using is the Synapse Workspace Deployment V2. Since this is in deployment back unto itself, we do not need to override parameters yet. Moving on to the test release pipeline. The release trigger is configured the same as dev, except for the branch filters. Similar changes are also made to the pre-deployment conditions. Drilling into the test stage tasks. We have introduced a new toggle Azure Synapse triggers task. Before deploying to test, we have the option to turn off all triggers. The Synapse Workspace Deployment V2 task is now pointing to our Synapse Workspace within the test environment. Because we are shifting into a new environment, we must accurately identify and override parameters that are environment specific. After deploying to the Synapse workspace, you may want to turn on all or a set of specific triggers. To do this, we have added this task again and enabled the toggle on option and provided a list of triggers that we want enabled. Deployment to production should adhere to your company policies. In this demo, we are using a continuous deployment trigger for the release trigger. However, the stage will only deploy with manual intervention. As time passes, each of the developers have made changes to their feature branches. Feature 6 is ready to deploy to dev live mode. To do this, the developer is going to issue a pull request from their feature branch into the release dev branch. Time continues to pass, and the other developers also push their features to dev. Now, 
Navigating back to pipeline releases. Within the dev release pipeline, we can see the three releases triggers, one for each feature merged into the dev release branch. After the release pipelines are completed, we can see the changes made by navigating to the dev live mode. Whenever a trigger is added, deleted, or the desired default state has changed, you must update the target environment's deployment stage and modify the Toggle Azure Synapse Triggers tasks. When the Dev Release branch is ready for testing, issue a pull request from the Dev Release branch into the Test Release branch. We can now see the features that were merged into the test release branch have successfully been deployed to our Test Synapse workspace environment, including the triggers and their state configurations. Unfortunately, Feature 5 pipelines are failing and did not pass testing. We will want to remove Feature 5 from both dev and test environments and allow the developer to continue making improvements within the Feature 5 branch. To remove Feature 5 artifacts from Dev and Test, navigate back to Pull Requests and find the Feature 5 pull request into the Dev Release branch. Select the Revert button. This will allow you to create a new version of the Dev Release branch without Feature 5 changes made to it while preserving other features. Now issue a new pull request from this new revert branch into the dev release branch. Upon successful deployment to dev, issue another pull request from dev release branch into the test release branch. Now both dev and test no longer have feature 5 changes. Feature 4 and 6 have passed testing and are ready to move from our test workspace into production. Like before, issue a new pull request from the test release branch into the production release branch. It is important to remember that when triggers are changes to update the deployment stage tasks for triggers. The deployment will fail if these tasks reference a trigger that doesn't exist anymore. Because of the pre-deployment conditions that we specified for production deployments, we must navigate to the release to production and manually select Deploy. Congratulations! We have successfully gone through a deployment cycle from dev to test to production, including the scenario of selecting and removing a specific feature from our deployment workflow to ensure only production-ready features are deployed. Special note, when Feature 5 is ready to move back into the deployment cycle to dev, test, prod, at the time of the pull request from Feature 5 into the dev release branch, we will encounter a merge conflict. To resolve this conflict within Azure DevOps, we can use the Azure DevOps Pull Request Merge Conflict extension to enable the Conflict tab and allow us to discard the commits with the Dev Release branch indicating that those objects were removed during the revert phase. Once the merge conflicts are settled, continue the normal deployment process. It has been a pleasure sharing this Synapse Pipeline CICD design for handling selected deployments. Thank you for watching. If you would like to provide feedback about the content, 
or how I can improve, please contact Sean Mirabile.